Hi everybody! So today, a lot of you guys have actually requested for a book video, like a book tour video. I'm gonna be making a video where I explain my favorite books, the books that I got recently, any books that I like, books that you should read if you haven't. So the area, it's much bigger now because I removed the bookshelf here that i used to have and replaced it with this wooden bookshelf which takes less space and then i also added this which i put my books and some stuff on it and here i have more propagation now and more books 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 and books okay guys so here i have my bookshelf so i'm gonna be giving you guys a bookshelf tour i have the cruel prince trilogy i've only read the first one i will be reading the second one soon i've actually been taking a break from fantasy for a while and reading a lot of contemporary books right now actually selling cinder skyward and mortal's engine anyone wants to buy these books just message me on my instagram and up here i have the invisible life of eddie larue by v.e schwab this is a hardback really slow at the start i'm taking a break from this book i have a curse the dark and lonely twilight to kill a kingdom and a very special year and then i have this mug which has all of the bookmarks that I got for free. This is the second shelf. So I have a lot of contemporary here. Here I have two of the off-campus series. I have The Score and The Deal. I have An Enchantment of Raven, The Problem with Forever, Betrayed, Punk 57, People We Meet on Vacation. And these are my books by Colleen Hoover. I'm currently reading her book, Confess. I have Maybe Someday, It Ends With Us, All Your Perfect, Regretting You, November 9, and Ugly Love. They both die at the end. A Little Life, Looking for Alaska. The Book Thief, Hands of Thieves, Fortuna Sorn, Sorcery of Thorn, Kingdom of the Wicked, Carve the Mark, and The Crown of Gilded Bones. The third book in from Blood and Ash series. So this is the third shelf. I have the Shatter Me series, Plink. These two are like the novellas. So Restore Me and Defy Me. I have Blood Air. And then I have the Selection Trilogy, Legend Trilogy, and this is Lady Midnight, The Dark Artifices. And here I have Hush Hush series, which I am selling. It only happens in the movies and the places I've cried in public. Here I have You Had Me at Hola, All the Stars and Teeth, We Hunt the Flame, and The Summer I Turned Pretty, Three in One Book. So the next shelf, I have my Throne of Glass series, The Empire of Storms, and Queen of Shadow is definitely my favorite books in the series. Here I have my Grishaverse, I have the Shadow and Bone trilogy which I think everyone has. It's a Netflix adaptation, you should go watch the Netflix series, it's really good. And then here I have the King of Scars duology, Six of Crows duology. And then these two are a standalone, these Violence Delight by Chloe Gong have The Shadow Between Us. So down here I have Victoria Aviart's latest book, The Realm Breaker. And then I have her Red Queen series. This is the first ever series that I read. And then I still remember the betrayal I felt for the first book. And then I have Ecotar series here and here. Crescent City, also by Sarah J Mass. And then I have three hardbacks for the Throne of Glass series. So that is my bookshelf. Beside my bookshelf is my side table and down here I have more poetry books and a contemporary. So over here I have just two books. I have Heartless by Marissa May, The Little Book of Ikigai. So from there I have this crate which I put my vinyl player. My vinyl down here but I only have four so that's why I have space to put my book. So here I have The Sun is also a star. All the Bright Places, Harry Potter, Perks of Being a Wallflower, After the Crash, 13 Reasons Why, Song of Aki, Anna and the French Kiss, The Hating Game, Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, Crazy Rich Asian. Those are the books that are down here. So up here I have Two of the Hundreds, To Kill a Kingdom. It's a fake copy of To Kill a Kingdom. I kind of got scammed. And here is definitely one of my prettiest books. The Little Woman by Louisa May Alcott. Look at that, that is really pretty. I have a few more books. So I have 
The Great Alone by Christine Hanna. I got this from the Spine Bookstore. They sent it to me for free, which is super kind of them. So I'll be leaving their Instagram down below because they sell secondhand books for really affordable prices. And then beside The Great Alone, I have the thinner version of Little Woman. Then I have A Thousand Splendid Sun. It's also the author of Kite Runner, but I don't have that book. The last book I have here is Emma by Jane Austen. Yeah, those are the books that are on my shelf. So I'm gonna start with the books that I read this month. So we'll wrap up for August. So I read the continuation for for Shadow Me trilogy. And the next book I read is The Summer I Turned Pretty. It's a three-in-one book. And I mark where the book stops and where the next book starts. Sometimes writing and just drawing in your book makes kind of like the book yours. People don't like to ruin their book, so that's why they don't annotate. I just write my thoughts down. If you want to write in your book, but you don't want to like damage it or anything, but by this, it's a clear like annotation paper. Oh, I haven't used it, but I'm going to be using it for my books book I read is The Score. It's in the Off Campus series by Elle Kennedy. I read Ugly Love, Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. The Deal is also Off Campus. Regretting You, I think this has to be one of my favorite reads of the month. The POV changes between Clara and Morgan, her mom, and I just love how their relationship. I'll talk more about this book later. And Punk 57, Misha. Commercial break. Blueberry sent me their, their booster drop serum. It's gonna be pictures up on the screen. So the booster drop is formulated with 3-0-ethyl ascorbic acid. So it basically it's a water and oil soluble form of vitamin C derivative that helps brighten and even skin tone. So as a result, it gives you a glowing complexion. I'm gonna link their Instagram in the description box down below. You can also buy it from Lazada. Yeah, that's all for the commercial break. So before I get into the recommendation part, I just want to say that everyone has a different opinion. So if you don't like a certain book, it doesn't mean you have the right to invalidate other people's opinions. Yeah, that was just what I want to say. So now I'm going to be talking about books that are really good and I heard they're really good. So like a little recommendation if you guys don't know what to read. You want to buy books but you don't know what to buy let's start with series so the first one is the shadow me series actually like i think eight or nine books if you want you can just read the first three books this book is shadow me and then it's unravel me and then it's ignite me so this series is a dystopian series it has the enemies to lovers trope it reminds me of divergent kind of and it also has the found family trope look at how much i annotated the more I annotate, honestly, the more I love the book. So the reason why I annotate is because if I want to go back to the book, I know where to go. These are like my favorite parts. Honestly, the way you annotate your books, sometimes people like to color coordinate, like blue is for sad, green is for like funny, relatable moments, but sometimes I don't follow the color. I annotate every single part that I like. And this is the continuation of the trilogy i really like the characters so that's why i decided to buy two of these books to continue the series i love juliet and warner but for this series i think there's one more imagine me and then there's three more that has a different pov this is the first series that i recommend yeah so i have heard a lot of good stuff about this duology. so it's the six of crows by leigh bardugo and Crooked Kingdom. Sorry to break it to you, but I haven't read it, but I haven't met a single person that hates this book. I think that's a really good sign. These books have the same universe as the Shadow and Bone trilogy, but different characters. But I heard this book is heartbreaking, so. Okay, so the next one is kind of debatable, but it's the Aquatar series. Half of the people do not like this series, and the other half does. I am kind of in the other half. I really like the characters in this book. The found family trope, enemies to lovers. It starts with this, Aquatar, A Court of Thorns and Roses. This is the first book. For me, this book was like a 3 out of 5. It was good, but it wasn't really great. Um, the second book, we're introduced to a lot more characters. The characters I love are in this book, 
I love the inner circle, the chemistry they have between them and the friendship, love it. But I think the only problem people have with this series is because of the author. I heard she was like problematic. You can search it up if you want to find out more about it. And then this is the third book. So basically Farah, the one on all the covers. I don't really want to spoil it to you, but she's like powerful. I also love that strong female protagonist. And then we have A Court of Silver Flames. This book is the sister of the female protagonist in the series. This book, you can actually see the improvement in her character. Because in the series, I find Nessa really annoying but this book changed my opinion of her i really liked her in this book at the start you can see she was a bit like selfish and stuff but the character development and that was the aquatar series the next book i want to talk about is really famous on tiktok it's we were lying it's actually really short i finished this book in like one sitting i did not expect the plot twist for this book at all i rated this book like a three out of five it's all right because it's a short read but I wasn't expecting the plot to this and it was really sad. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a short summary. Basically, the St. Clair family is very rich. They own their own island. So every year, the whole St. Clair family will go to this island for summer. But then a tragedy happened. The main character, she lost her memory and she doesn't know what happened. No one will tell her what happened, but at the end of the book, she starts to remember what happened and stuff. So the fun thing about this book is you start guessing what happened and make your own theory, but my theory was way off. So if you want like a mystery, you should read this book. Because once you know the plot twist, all of the things you read in front make sense. Two Liars by E. Lockhart. First standalone is, actually no, this is already a duology. This is a mafia fantasy romance. The main character's name is also Juliet, same as Shatter Me. So this book is set in the 1926 in Shanghai. Romance, enemies to lovers, that type of plot. If you're into that, this book is for you. It is Colleen Hoover, my favorite out of the rest, this book literally took my heart, crushed it, and put it inside. Like I said, this book is a mother and daughter POV, which is throughout the book. You can see their relationship evolve. So the starting of the book, basically they found out a really betraying big secret. So this book shows how they both handle it as a mother and daughter. Basically, the story unraveled from the big secret. So yeah. Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. So the next book is November 9. So basically Fallon is an actress and Ben is a writer. So why they made a deal where they meet every year on November 9 without any social media, no contact or whatsoever. And when I tell you I ugly cried at the end of the book because of the last few meetings, you should read this book. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Actually, halfway through this book, but I am recommending it to you guys because I find the Addie LaRue sells her soul to the devil past midnight, something like that. So basically, whoever she crossed paths with will not remember her. So she's like forever alone until she meets Henry. Yeah, that's all I know so far because I haven't really get to that part yet. But I find this storyline very interesting. I left out this book. Okay, so it ends with us. This is like a super famous book on book talk. Well, personally, I think it's really sad. I cried a lot at the end. So the female protagonist, Lily, has kind of like a traumatic background story, like a past. But then until she moves to Boston and opened her own floral shop, and then she meets more people there, and then her story kind of unravels from there. I don't want to spoil it but you guys should read it. And Atlas in this book, Atlas Corrigan, you guys should read it. And also Ryle. So a standalone fantasy. So this is Heartless by Marissa Mayer. So basically the Alice in the Wonderland, the Red Queen, this is her story. Shows how she becomes the Queen of Hearts. She wasn't always bad. It's really heartbreaking. I want to apologize if any of my reviews aren't really spot on or clear. Um, it's my first time doing this, so please don't hate. But if you guys want to know more information about a certain book in this video, 
you can search it up or you can check the app Goodreads. It literally has everything on it, all the reviews, all the summary. Another standalone, The Hating Room, Enemies to Lovers in a Office. Yeah, that's basically it. Now that is the whole summary. I like this book. I actually enjoyed it. Finished it in like one or two sittings. Yeah. So this is also a standalone Anna and the French Kiss. It's set in a French boarding school. So Anna is from the US. She goes to boarding school in Paris and she meets um, Etiana. I really don't know how to pronounce it. It's Etiana because it's a French name. One calls him Saint Clair. So yeah. Next book is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. It's a historical fiction narrated by death. So yeah. And people say it's really sad. I'm gonna read it to find out for myself if it's sad. So moving on. Ollie, say hi. 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 So the next book is Beach Read. This book is about two writers, one holiday, a rom-com waiting to happen. The names are kind of interesting. The names are January and Gus. They have a writer's block and they need to write bestsellers before the summer ends. So, so the next book is People We Meet on Vacation. This is, I don't really know how to summarize this book, but it's two best friends and 10 summer trips and one last chance to fall in love. It was like a bunch of summers over the year. Here is the summary. So pause to read. So yeah, I guess that's all the book recommendation. That is everything about my books. Oh, you say bye.